Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Happy New Year's, guys, and this is the first podcast of 2022. Thanks for tuning in. Now, it is going to be a short one today because I'm really working at finishing up part three of the reef course. Uh, it's basically the what I do as far as fishing on the reef, and I'm really giving out a lot. So uh, part three, I'm deep into like, the bait that I'm using, uh, just little, just little things that I that I do that make the difference, and it's the little things that make the difference that everybody is wanting to learn. So that's why I'm taking that time to do that. I have to do a lot of little videos on bait cutting, and I'm writing out the instructions as well. Super excited to be able to to do this for you guys. So it's you're going to really enjoy part three really go you're really going to enjoy it so i'm just going to leave it at that i and i want to thank the guys that have already emailed me that were able to apply what they've learned in the grouper bonus and what they were able to apply apply already in part two with the chumming and it's already made a huge difference for guys fishing so i just am it's it's way cool to see the catches just in those small details and what how, how they change things out with their anchoring and their and the chumming and how they're fighting the north wind now. So it's it's way cool. So thank you guys for sending me that stuff. And I am very happy that you guys have been successful. So thank you guys again. Today's podcast, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about patchery fishing. So the biggest thing I'm learning about folks that fish with me is that they're not putting in enough time on fishing spots. Okay, so there's a lot of content out there, and I'm just going to tell you guys like like I see it. You need to put in the time on the patchery spots. If you're only giving a patchery for half an hour, 20 minutes to 45 minutes, that is not enough time. There's so many different variables with that fishing. There's so many different variables time of day, sun angles, just a whole bunch of stuff that goes into that. Now, if you're looking just to go out there, have a good time, maybe catch one or two fish, then, you know, 20 minutes to 30 minutes, whatever you're hearing out there, uh, as far as time goes, you know, that's time for that kind of stuff. But I want to give you guys a scenario where I've been on a patch for, you know, probably about two, three hours, and yeah, you know, we're catching fish, no muttons, you know. And then you, you gotta get the ballyhoo to come in. And if the ballyhoo's not coming in, they might show up a little later, you know. It's just how it goes, you know. It just it just depends on where you're fishing, what's happening with that that area, what the water quality is, what the water, how the water's moving, how many times that patch has been hit. So there's lots of variables that go into that. But if you're really the looking to catch some really nice fish, you need to put in some time on the patries. Uh, the biggest thing is you got to get the ballyhoo going, and that sometimes will happen right away, and sometimes that happens, like, later. So when you, the biggest thing for you guys to do is you got to see where the ballyhoo are at, make some long casts in the back of the slick, and they start popping, you know that they're way back there. And then you got to start firing back some, you know, some bait back there to start catching those because that's where your muttons are at. So just remember that. And also, too, I mean, I've had scenarios where I fish patches for four hours, five hours, and it's not to that fifth hour till those mutton snappers show up. And it just takes them a while to get into the chum. And then once they get into the chum, you can catch six to ten of them, and then the sharks will eventually show up. So, But, um, yeah, that's how it rolls. Honestly, you got to put in a little bit of time. Now... Now, there are, like I said, there are days when it's easy, when it happens in the first 20 minutes. And that's usually on, like, days when you have a, like, things are right, okay? So my advice to you guys that don't have a lot of time to fish, uh, fish those peak times. You can pull up my Solar Lunar app. Like, I've been using that. I use that Solar Lunar app like it's going out of style, especially for mutton snappers, okay? So just keep that in mind. Mutton snappers on the patch reefs. Patch reef fishing, I really... I really like that. So what you guys can do if you guys are really wanting and don't have a lot of time, uh, 
try not to go out there in the middle of the day, set up for 20 minutes and leave when the sun's really bright. You want to try to get there maybe in the evening and spend a couple hours and try to fish that peak bite when that sun's going down. So like I said, you've got that early morning and you've got that late in the day towards evening, you know, last two hours of the day. And then last two hours of the day, if you get, get to a nice patch, there's lots of bait moving around and lots of activity and hit that tide right and things are lining up, then you can really you can do some damage in 20 to 30 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Also, too, if you're fishing a big patch, uh, this, I'm going to leave you guys with this, is that a lot of guys get hip on just anchoring on like one part of the patch where the wind is coming at. Well, sometimes you got to move around a little bit on that big patch and figure out where they're at that day. It doesn't mean that they're always going to be in the same spot where the wind is wind is at sometimes they'll anchor sometimes you have to anchor a little differently and guys sometimes i'll anchor in the back of the patch okay because it's like with mutton snappers you know they move around a lot and they're they're you know it just is what it is so you got to find out where the bait's at they're not always going to be at that on the side of the patch or in the front of the patch they're going to be in the back of the patch as well and I've had days where I've just anchored on the back of the patch and I've done extremely well because you have to remember that the fish uh, in shallow water pick up on that chum really nice. So it's cool when you can catch them in the back. You got to remember in the back, back side of the patches, that's where you're going to find all your sponges, all your isolated coral heads that you don't really see. So just unless you like scuba dive, not get, you know, one thing you can do is you can dive it. So you can, you know, you can put a guy behind the boat and he can, you know, do a search of the patch. That's, that's a cheater's way to do it. That's your best. Honestly, if you're looking to find a new patch reef, I'm going to leave you with this today. Is you can put a guy in the back of the boat like your lobster, like in, the, in there with snorkeling gear. I call him shark bait. And what you can do, if you got a really gin clear water, you can drag him behind the boat until you find a nice patch with some nice fish on it. You, you'll be able to see the mutton snappers and all that stuff. But you have to remember is, is that when you're chumming, you're calling the muttons in from all different types of directions uh, and all that other good stuff. So it just depends on the current. They're coming in from other patches, around surrounding patches. So there's more to it, okay? So there's a lot more to it. But uh, put a guy in the water and drag him behind there and let him find some fish for you. And then, you know, <laughs> whoever's brave enough to do it, <laughs> that's not me. So uh, that's all I got for today, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, you got to be patient on a patch. It takes time, okay? It takes time for those big muttons to show up. If you're leaving after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're missing out. Just saying. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you haven't already done so, please download the Good Karma Sport Fishing app. And you can, that's, a, that's a free download in, in the iTunes store and the Google Play store. So do that. Uh, just highly recommend you do that. I'm going to be adding stuff to the app here uh, this new year uh, for you guys. The app is free, and there, there will not be any charges for the app this year. And also, too, the the app is um, I'm going to be doing some fun stuff with the app this coming year. So we'll have to stay tuned. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's it'll be really cool. It's going to help you guys out with your fishing. Also, too, uh, please share this podcast with a friend or coworker or a family member as part of the, you know, I, I don't charge for a lot of this stuff and a lot of this stuff you really got to go and you have to subscribe to magazines for it. Um, it's hard to find the information that I share. So most of you guys got to go, go to a seminar and pay for it. So a lot of the stuff I share over a course of time is free. So just, um, I appreciate the guys that are buying courses and supporting the podcast, but uh, I would really like to see you guys share the podcast around with your friends and families and help grow the podcast this year. And I will continue putting out great content for you guys to help you guys get better in the, in the coming year. That's all I got. Thank you again. And follow me on Instagram at good karma sport fishing underscore FL underscore keys. That's it. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. <laughs>